how to add product categories in Shopify for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I will be showing you how you can add product categories in your Shopify store. So let's just jump right in. Now, product categories are essential to make sure that your customers are able to properly navigate through your Shopify store. And the default category options that you get on Shopify can be very limiting and very difficult to navigate through. Because if you go into your product organization section, you have these product categories that are pre-existing and then you can choose a subcategory accordingly. However, these are not helpful at all and can be very difficult to navigate through. So to build our own categorization system, the first thing that you have to do on Shopify is to take a look at your product. I'll just create a couple of sample products from different categories. So let's say it's going to be clutch formal bag. Now I'm going to create a new product, which is going to be in a different category, which might be high stiletto heels. So let's say I have uh, a bunch of different products. You want to uh, just do a overview of your product to see what type of product you have and choose the basic categories that you want to create. For me, I only want to create two types of product categories. One is bag and one will be footwear. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is create separate pages to display your categories. So to do that, all you have to do is click on your online store on the left navigation panel. Once you click on your online store on the left navigation panel, you want to click on pages. Once you click on pages, you will click on add page on the right, and then you will add a new page with the title of your product categories. So as I told you guys, we are creating two product categories, so I will be creating two pages. First, I'm going to create a footwear page. And you guys can see this is what the search engine preview is going to look like for my specific website page as well. So you can customize this as well. Now I will click on save over here and then I will create a new page. And the second page is going to be bags. And we're just going to save our second page as well. Now, once you've added both of your pages, you need to make sure that these pages are actually visible in the navigation panel because once you create a page in Shopify, it is not automatically added to your navigation panel. So to do that, simply head on over to your online store, click on navigation over here, and then you will click on your main menu. Once you click on main menu, you're going to click on add menu item. And then you will just name the uh, specific menu item and you can create like a basic page and then create your pages within that. So if I create like a categories page and the links to all of my specific categories to be created in that, you can do that as well. I'm just going to add all of my product categories directly into my main menu. Although this is not my recommended way, I do recommend that you create your own individual page that has all of your categories so a general categories page which has all the categories listed within and you can create these as sub pages as well you can move any of the pages to the right to create them as a sub page but we're just going to make these as main pages once you've added these in your menu click on save now once you've done that if you go into your online store and click on customize you can open up the product category pages that you have just created. So if I go on to pages and go on to my bags page, so you guys can see this page is currently empty. And let's say I want to click on add section and you can click on collection list. So you can add your collections, you can add your featured products as well. And all you have to do over here is to add a particular featured collection. So you want to add that over here and now within your featured collection, you have all of your information, number of products, what type of products you want to add. But to make this a lot easier, what I like to do is I like to go back into my online store. I'm going to leave this for now, go into my product page. And then within that, within your product themselves, you have collections. So you can click on create collection and then you can add footwear and this is going to be a manual collection and i would just add all of my footwear items over here so i'm just going to click on save and now i can go into my specific product inventory and i can add it to a collection and i'm going to add it to the footwear collection 
Now, in the same manner, you can create your second collection, which is going to be your second product category, which is going to be for us. Just like that, I'm going to save it. And now I can go into my products, select both of my handbags, and then I'm going to scroll down, click on add to collection, and add them to the bags collection. Now, this just makes it a lot easier to navigate through my products. Now I can go into online store. And once I have opened up my online store, I can click on customize over here and now I can open up the particular page for my collection. So I have my uh, bags page over here and then I can click on add section and I can add my collections list. Obviously, I'm going to click on add collection. You can select your particular collection. I'm going to select the this is my bags page. So I'm just going to click on select. And I will remove the rest of these items. So remove block, remove block, and then I can remove another block just like that. And just like that, I have my bags page created. Now I would go on footwear and I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. So I'm going to add my footwear collection on this particular page. Click on save. And just like that, on the bag section, I have my bags collection link added. And on the footwear, I will have my footwear. And then I can just click on save on the top right over here. If the collection method is proving a bit too difficult, you also have other methods that you can do this with. So instead of having to add a particular collection list, you can simply click on add section, click on featured product, and then within that featured product, you can click on add section, add your particular product details over here. Instead of just having to add each, uh, you know, each collection, you can add your own individual product if you have less product. This can be super easy and super efficient as well. Or you can just click on featured collection and the featured collection could be any collection that you want. So you can click on select collection click on select just like that and now I will have all of my featured collection which is my bags collection so if I go back and I'll just delete the featured product section um, just like that oh I accidentally added this in footwear but you guys can see just like that I have bags by Durden and all of the bags will be listed down below now all I have to do is to remove the heading of featured collection so for that just go into your sections go into this and then you're going to change your heading you just name this to bags just like that and click on save and then just like that you have your pages for your product categories ready so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video